Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about file protection through controlled access. The need to protect files is a direct result of the ability to access files. Systems that do not permit access to the files of other users, they do not need protection. The most common approach to the protection problem is to make access dependent on the identity of the user. Different users may need different types of access to a file or a directory. Some users may want to perform read operation, some may want to perform write operation, some may want to perform another kind of operation. The most general scheme to implement identity dependent access is to associate with each file and directory an access control list. So the most general scheme is that an access control list is associated with each file and directory. And this list will specify which user is allowed to perform what type of access. So, when a user requests access to a particular file, the operating system will check the access control list of uh, that file. The operating system will check the access control list which is associated with that file. If the user is uh, listed for the requested access, then the access is allowed. Otherwise, a protection violation occurs and the user job is denied access to the file.